Oh, sneaking up on me, are you? No, you found me in my, my office. I'm uh, working on a spreadsheet here. Let me show you the spreadsheet I built for the farm that contains our seeding of the fields, what crops we seeded in those fields, the acreage for the acreage reports that we need to turn in, the harvest uh, bushels. How do we uh, account for the bushels as they come to the bin and also uh, as far as marketing? So without much further ado, I don't think there's much ado around here. All right, let's just get it done. Come along. All right, let's get started. So on my spreadsheet that I built, first thing I do is I put in the year 2023. That will tell the rest of the sheets we're working with 2023 on all the data. Then I go down and here I have individual uh, fields and tracks um, and there's many many tracks. Let me just uh, scroll down and show you how many fields there are. There's over 125 fields and so each one of those need to be accounted for. When you hold the mouse over uh, it gives me a map of those of that track and the fields that are contained in that track. And, and that's, uh, that's cool because then you can visually see, oh yeah, I remember that, wh which field that is. And, and so it's just, uh, it's a nice uh, addition to when you're um, uh, doing the data input. Also, we have the proposed acres and seeded. This is where we start out the year in planning where we're gonna seed the crops in which fields. These are the history of the fields from uh, previous years, what crop was on those individual fields. And uh, this is all the years of the totals, and this is the total of the whole farm. But each uh, unit has its own boxes here, so you can check and say, yeah, there's this many acres in this one, this one, that one. As we are planning here, we look at this one. This uh, uh, reflect of last year. Last year was seeded spring wheat. Let's just go ahead and say we're going to seed, uh, or not seed, we're going to camp follow this one. All right, it's going to automatically um, put, check this box as CC because it sees there was a crop on it. If there's not a crop, it's going to be automatically summer fall. So this one here was summer fall last year. Let's go ahead and do some winter wheat. Winter wheat we planted last fall. I would have had this done. Um, and so uh, I, we'll just call it that we had it, had planted winter wheat in that one. Uh, yellow peas. Uh, let's see some yellow peas on this one because that's recrop. Uh, and then this one here, let's just go ahead and we'll, we're going to seed spring wheat on this uh, summer follow. Uh, then we go across this summer follow. Oh, that was winter wheat last year. And then we'll finish up with this uh, uh, example of barley. Okay, so we've got uh, these uh, four crops. And then as we're seeding uh, we'll, and finish that field, we'll check that box. And what that does is that will add up those acres tied to the, the, to the crop, um, reflective on the upcoming sheets. Okay, so we've got all, all our crops seeded and we're done. We need to start doing reports. So we got to fill out two reports, one to the government to FSA office, um, and then the other one is to uh, insurance, crop insurance. Uh, so the first one, the FSA certification sheet, it, it, we, every field has to be identified of what was seeded. Also the date, so you can put the date in here. So we've got those uh, done. That's pretty much all filled out for federal crop and it goes across um, all, all the other units that's on the farm uh, will be filled out automatically just by the seeding, just checking that box. So then we go to the federal crop to do it and that's different because they go by units, not individual fields necessarily. So it's going to be different totals. And so as you can see here on that one unit, uh, unit one, we've got uh, the summer fall of 208, 290 on winter, yellow peas 152, 151.9. And so that it pretty much fills it out. We can put the plant date in and that's the information we need for federal crop. So how we do this one is we'll start in bin one, um, was 2023, it was the, the year that we were uh, doing the uh, harvest, uh, was winter wheat. We had seeded winter wheat, harvested winter wheat first. 
So let's go, and that was summer follow. Let's go 200 inches. We measure how many inches of each unit is in the bin. Uh, there might be more than one unit in there, and this way we can keep each unit separate. And it was off of unit one. Uh, there's many other units, as you can see by this drop uh, menu here, that has to be accounted for. And all you do is you click down instead of having to type uh, that uh, unit name in. So it really makes it handy. So it's already populated the, and calculated the, the bushels in that bin. Reason why it's important about the date, let me do bin six and let's just put in, uh, not 24, let's go into 2019. We've just kept that bin, we never sold it, don't ask me why. Uh, and it was uh, 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 canola, okay? And it was unit one, all right. Now let's put some uh, 45 in there. Okay, we had 100, uh, 1,400 bushels of canola. I'm going to show you why that's important. So those bin levels um, are translated into where the unit is, and that also will populate these uh, cells that are important because this is the share crop, the crop shares, and so. This total of the 48 will be divided amongst those who have an interest in that crop. Um, here we have the, the acres from the previous report when we were planting. And this is the bushels that came out of that bin and it gives us a yield. It's automatically calculated, calculated. I didn't have to put any of this data in. Same with the winter wheat. We had this many, uh, almost 5,000 bushels of winter wheat. And we had 290, that gave a yield of 17.2. Uh, same thing with uh, yellow peas, 26, and barley of uh, 23. Okay, so after harvest, um, we have the harvest bin totals. This is just reflective of this sheet of what we harvested this year. And the reason why I was telling you about the uh, date as far as the current date on that one box, here's that 200, 2019 canola. Mm -hmm. There is no... Uh, bushels because it was not produced this year. So that's what's important about the dates. Uh, if we need a CC loan on it, it'll, we can check that, uh, add the amount, uh, who, who took the loan out on it, and so we'll get a good indication. So this gives me a snapshot of what came in at harvest time the, as the bins. And also there is a box in each one of the bins to check for protein. If you want to add the protein, it'll show up here. So it really helps in marketing. The bin inventories are your current um, grain on hand, could be over multiple years. And so look at this canola, see where that canola now shows up. And so this is the total grain and it can also be if we put it in a seed, it'll show up in our seed bins as far as seed availability so we can keep an inventory of that also. I have a, a sheet here for uh, contracts. I've redacted a ton of them. I just put in a couple examples here just kind of show I can keep track of the contracts. Whenever we make a contract, I can put it in here and I can see when the dates do and it'll let me know. Uh, okay, and then the last sheet is the uh, share crops. Uh, all those crops will come into a total of the different kinds of crops that are planted on those and then um, I, as I can um, want to know, you know, what what their share is worth, I can put in in the price. I can put a general price up here, and then they all get that price at that certain date. Um, or I can put individual prices, uh, discounts, whatever, and then it'll come up what their total worth is, and then I can put a check and see if it's paid or not paid, uh, the date it was paid, and so I can keep track of all that. Hopefully I didn't bore you. Um, you probably finished your popcorn a long time before this, but this is how we uh, handle our grain, um, and, uh, and then also, uh, the seeding and keeping a history and so next year this will be 2024 and then it will clean itself up uh, when I hit a button and then it'll start over and I can start the next year all right I'm going to turn you back over to Bob okay thanks Bob for that short presentation I think you spread yourself a little thin anyway guys Take care and we'll catch you on the next rerun.